I think that geosciences is changing very rapidly. We're now able to collect a very large amount of data on both the natural and engineered environment, and that presents both opportunities and challenges. Within our research, we're really trying to find the best analysis methods to extract useful information and then communicate that to a very wide audience. Our group is made up of approximately eight to ten members and we have a varied background in science and engineering so we're capable of doing geomechanical simulations for these salt domes which is what the oil is stored in. We do geologic characterization. We look at oil quality. I think that many national security issues have a strong geoscience component. That can include our ability to monitor the environment, our ability to predict and detect changes in the environment, and also be able to model complex systems. That could include things like underground reservoirs or critical infrastructure. And I think it's really important that we include that type of analysis in a discussion about security. The Strategic Petroleum Reserve is a national asset that must be available the moment the president needs it if there's a disruption in supply. Everything that we do here at Sandia relates to making sure that the reserve is ready to be drawn down when called upon. Those capabilities can easily translate to other problems, especially like subsurface geologic mapping, even other underground storage applications. We can do oil chemistry. We have well bore integrity studies, which go beyond just cavern storage. It can go into the gas oil field or anything that puts a well into the ground. The work we're doing uh, relates to the safe transportation of crude oils uh, through North America. Access to safe, secure, reliable, economic uh, energy is, is very important to the U.S. and to Canada. And this work assures that we do that in a, in a way that is safe and, and economical. We are developing software for water utilities so that they can better understand how their system might change if there is some type of disruption or disaster. We are also developing methods for sensor placement optimization and applying that to be able to monitor um, methane emissions in the field. We're also developing methods so that we can quickly identify changes within energy systems, primarily with um, applications to photovoltaics. A lot of our methods are developed into open source software and that is being used inside and outside of the lab. The work that we're doing basically informs public policy and regulatory decisions and discussions around uh, transportation of crude oil. And the safe transportation of crude oil benefits the public, uh, benefits the regulatory community, and it benefits industry. I'm able to work with a lot of people that are very passionate about their research. And that could include their interest in the technical side of what they're doing, but people are also very interested in how their work impacts real challenging problems that impact our nation today. What I like about working on the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is that it's actually a living project. Things happen, they call you, you need to switch gears, so you never know what might be coming in when you walk in the next day. I'm really interested in how do I produce a product that can help people make decisions. I've been here 15 years and uh, this is probably the most important, challenging, and exciting work that I've done.